Hey viewers, in this video, we're going to install a super lightweight gaming OS, Ghost Spectre Windows 11, designed to boost performance, especially on low to mid-range systems. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future tech tips and tweaks. So let's head over to this website and search for the latest version of Windows 11. In this example, is 24H2. Click on the download button and it'll redirect you to another page with more instructions. Just click the download link and it will take you to file hosting site where you can download the zip file. Once the zip file is downloaded, locate it in File Explorer. Then extract the ISO using WinRire or WinZip. The password required to extract the file is visible on the screen. To create a bootable USB with the installation image, we'll use a tool called Rufus. You're free to use any other tool you prefer, but in this video, we'll stick with Rufus for simplicity. Just plug in your USB flash drive, launch Rufus, and select the ISO file we extracted earlier. Leave the default settings as they are. Then click Start. The process should only take a few minutes, depending on your PC's speed. Once the USB installation media is ready, restart your computer. As soon as you see PC logo, press the boot menu key. This varies by brand, but in our case, we'll keep pressing the F11 key repeatedly. When the boot menu appears, select the USB stick we just created. This will launch the Ghost Spectre 11 setup program. In the menu below, you'll see an option to explore Ghost Spectre, but we'll choose Windows Setup instead. From the sub-menu, select New Setup to begin the installation. Start by selecting your language and keyboard preferences. Then, click Install Windows 11. Check the box to accept the license terms and click Next. On the image selection screen, choose Windows 11 Pro Superlight and proceed. Next, we'll set up a dual boot by installing on a spare drive. This allows you to keep your original OS intact. Delete the partition on the spare drive. Create a new one and select it to continue. Click Next to begin the installation. It should take a few minutes, depending on your PC's speed. Once the setup completes, remove the USB stick on your next boot. You'll be prompted to choose an operating system. The first option will be the Ghost Spectre version you just installed. It will automatically load if you press enter or wait a few seconds. On the first boot, you'll be prompted to enter the admin password. Once done, the super light version of Windows 11 will launch. Note that the animated logo appears only once during the first startup. Since we already had the necessary drivers on our external disk, we went ahead and installed them to ensure full system functionality. You'll notice that this OS comes with no pre-installed apps to install only the apps you need without bloating your system. You can use the Ghost Toolbox. Apps marked in red are essential, so make sure to install all the necessary ones first. After that, we'll go ahead and install the Steam client. We tested Marvel Rivals on the lowest settings at 720p, upscaled to 1080p. 
using Radeon's proprietary software. The performance on Ghost Spectre Super Lite was noticeably faster compared to the original Windows 11. If you're using a Ryzen APU with integrated graphics, I highly recommend trying Ghost Spectre for a smoother gaming experience. Before running the Cyberpunk 2077 benchmark, we set all graphics settings to low at 1080p, enabled FSR 3 in performance mode, and turned on frame generation. While the FPS on the super light version wasn't drastically higher, it still outperformed the original Windows overall. Ghost of Tsushima was the only game where we could hardly notice any difference between the two versions. However, considering how well other recent games performed using AMD's built-in GPU, I'd still recommend Ghost Spectre Super Light for gamers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate your support and see you in the next one.